Hi guys. Good morning. I'm so happy to be back here with you again. It's time for Friday Feelings Corner. <laughs> Yay. Welcome back, my loves. It's so good to see you. I'm having a good morning so far. I'm in a pretty good mood. How are you doing? I'm glad if you're doing well. I sure hope so. Well, while we're waiting for my furry little pals to show up, I'm going to sing for you a welcome song, and that will give people time to tune in if they're wanting to watch at the live 11 o'clock on Friday morning time to find the video and log in. So while we're waiting, I'm going to sing a little song I wrote called Sometimes Love. Some of you have heard this before. You ready? It goes like this. Sometimes love looks like going to the zoo and holding hands and eating ice cream. Sometimes love is more plain. Sometimes love looks like breakfast in bed and extra snuggles on your birthday. Sometimes love feels like rain. Sometimes love means someone saying no. Sometimes love means putting me to bed even when I don't want to go. Sometimes love means not letting me do exactly what I want, just exactly when I want to. They keep me healthy and they keep me safe, even when that's just no fun. What you do when you love someone. Sometimes love looks like answering my questions even when I got a hundred. Sometimes love looks like toys. Yeah. Sometimes love looks like story time and checking there's no monsters under the bed. Sometimes love feels like joy. Sometimes love means someone saying no. Sometimes love means putting me to bed even when I don't want to go. Sometimes love means not letting me do exactly what I want, just exactly when I want to. They keep me healthy and they keep me safe, even when that's just no fun. It's what you do when you love someone. It's what you do when you love someone. Yay! And I love you. And it looks like Holly Ava is here with me today. Hi, Holly Ava. I love you so much, honey. I hope you're having a great time and having fun with your kindergarten. Yay! Hey, guys. So good to see you. Well, I think it's about time for my friends to... Ah! Someone's here. Let's see who's here first. It's Angus first. Yay! Hi, Angus. Hi, guys. Can you say hello to Holly Ava at home? Hi, Holly Ava. Hi, everybody. Uh-oh. You don't sound like you're having your very favorite morning, huh? Are you, is everything okay? You feeling okay? Why don't you go ahead and tell us all a little about your morning so far? Ugh. Well, it's been cloudy every day. And it got cold all of a sudden. And it's not as much fun to play outside like that. And then I came early because Teddy is driving me crazy. Oh, no. How is he driving you crazy? Well, he just, he's always so loud. And he does everything too fast. And he never wants to play the most fun games. And he never wants to read books with me. And he he just wants to do things fast. And he doesn't tell stories and, and imagine with me. And uh, he's just, uh, he's so annoying. And, uh, 
Oh dear. Well, we can talk about that a little bit more. I understand that feeling. We all get a little impatient with our best friends and family members sometimes, don't we? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and pick out your favorite instrument for when we sing our song, okay? And maybe you can take a deep breath and feel a little bit better. I'll try. Okay, why don't you go ahead? Oh, I think we know who that must be. It's Teddy! Hi, Teddy! Oh, can you tell our friends how you're doing today? Hi, guys! Well, I am not having a great morning. Oh, really? Why aren't you having a great morning? Ugh, it's been so cloudy and cold all of a sudden, and it's not as much fun to play outside. And then Angus is driving me crazy. Angus is driving you crazy? Yeah, he just like, he's like always whining. The worst, huh? Your best friend is the worst? Can that be true? Well, it sure feels like it right now. I don't even want to play with him today, I don't think. Hmm. Well, that sounds a little bit tricky. You know, Angus is already here. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's continue our kind choices, okay? I'm going to invite Angus out. And I think I know a little trick that might help us with this problem we're all having. Okay, Angus, did you pick out your favorite rattle for later? Yeah. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Angus. Oh, dear. You know what I think? <laughs> I think that you guys have your grumpy glasses on. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses either. What do you mean, grumpy glasses? Well, grumpy glasses is a way of looking at things. You know when you get into a grumpy mood because maybe it's been dark and cloudy and the weather got cold really suddenly or any sorts of reasons. We all get grumpy sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we're grumpy, it can be easy to look at everything and everyone around us with our grumpy glasses on. Grumpy glasses are when we're looking at everything from our grumpy mood. And it makes us only see the things that we don't like. The things that make us feel even grumpier. Even about the people that we usually like and appreciate the most and love the most. Right, guys? Well, I guess. I mean, no, I don't think I understand. Well, let's try a little exercise, okay? An exercise, not like a body exercise, but like a brain feelings exercise, okay? All right. Ugh, fine. Okay. All right. Let's let's try our best to use our very kindest words and tones, right? Yeah, I know. It's hard when we're grumpy. Even I get grumpy. Even Holly Ava has seen me be grumpy before. Right, Holly Ava? You remember every once in a while, if I was really tired or stressed out, 
I might look at things through my grumpy glasses for a few minutes, but I know a trick. And here it is. I'm going to have our friends sit here so they can watch this trick. Okay? And then we'll try it together. All right. So you know how I always wear a heart right here? Because it helps remind me that I want to make loving choices all the time. And it helps you see that I'm still working on it. That that's what I want to do. Well, what you can do is, this is a symbol for the heart that's actually inside. The heart that I can feel. And you have one too. Oh, Holly Ava doesn't remember me getting grumpy. That actually makes me feel good. Because I don't want anybody to remember that. Because that's only when I lose track of my practice. Right? I want to do better. Okay, so let's all, and you do this with me, okay? Put your hand on your heart and close your eyes. And think about love. Can you feel your heart inside you? Can you imagine it? Filling your whole body with love. Start from your toes. And it's filling the love up your whole body. Can you feel it? It's like you're filling up with something warm and cozy. And it feels so good. Love, 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 love. Remember love? Yeah, and then once you feel the love, Get all the way up to here. Boop. You're going to put the love on your eyes. Like you're putting on little love glasses. Look, I made a heart out of my hands. Can you do that? Thumbs together. And then like you're making wings. And then bend it over and do this and you got love. Boop. And I'm going to look around with love. And when I look with love, love sees all the good stuff. When we look with love at the people around us and at the things around us, whoa, what does love see? What do you think, guys? Can you try that? Did you fill yourselves up with love? trying. Okay, so I am all filled with love, and if I look around with love, uh, I don't, I don't know. Well, let me give you an example. If I look at you with grumpy glasses, I might feel a little impatient or annoyed. Not with you, but just because that was the grumpy glasses I was looking at, right? But if I look with love, I see my dear friend who is cute and cuddly and wonderful and funny and smart and really trying his best to be kind all the time. And even when he doesn't get it perfectly, that's okay, you're trying. And I love that about you. And I love how brave and funny you are. Oh. All right, so why don't you try looking at Angus with love? When you look at Angus with love, what do you see? What do you think, guys? Mm. Mm. Okay. Angus, when I look at you with love, I see that you are so nice to me and you always share and you've got a good imagination. I like your ideas. And I like playing with you. And you're my best friend. And that feels good. That's right. Good job. Well done, right? You know, and you can also look at things with love. Like, I noticed that when I look at a cloudy, dark, cold day with grumpy glasses, I just feel uncomfortable and kind of bummed out. But when I look with love, I see that cloudy skies make all the colors more vivid. And I love colors. What about you? Have you ever noticed that? It makes every plant seem brighter. 
and it makes all the colors look brighter than they do in the sunshine. Yeah. Huh. All right, Angus, why don't you try to look at Teddy with love instead of grumpiness and see what you see? What do you think? Um, okay. Teddy, when I look at you with love, I see that you're strong and brave, and you make me laugh a lot, and you teach me tricks, and even if you're going too fast, you always stop and wait for me, which is really nice. And I like playing with you. You're my best friend. Oh, that was very kind. Yeah, we can always tell when we're looking with love because then the things that we say on the inside and on the outside about our friends, our family, are kind and loving things because when love looks around, love sees the good stuff, right? And we can feel better. Once we're looking with love, we feel better inside too with each other and in ourselves, right? Huh, you know what? You're right, because now I really want to play with Angus. And I, I'm not feeling so grumpy. Hey, me too. Huh, <laughs> cool. Just a simple little trick that can work. Take off your grumpy glasses, find the love inside, and then look around, look with love. What does love see? Speaking of love, I think we're already ready to sing our Loving Choices song. Will you sing it with us? All right. Now, why don't you guys sit here and you can help sing the song. Here we go. Angus, did you pick out your rattle? Angus picked out the green one. I like green too. Holly Ava, is green still your favorite color? Oh, I hope so. But it's cool if not, too. I like a lot of colors. All right, here we go. Ready? Even when we're grumpy, even when we're hungry, even when we're tired, we use loving voices. Even when we're grumpy, even when we're hungry, even when we're tired, we make loving choices. I'm kind to you, you're kind to me, because we're all one big family. I'm kind to you, you're kind to me, because that's how we treat friends. Even if we're nervous, even if we're worried, even if we're angry, we use loving voices. Even if we're nervous, even if we're worried, even if we're angry, we make loving choices. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we miss. And that's why everybody needs practice. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we miss. So we're kind to ourselves, too. Hey! Great job, Angus. Great job, guys. All right. So, what do you think? How are you feeling? Well, I feel better, so now I really want to go play. And look, the sun came out. Oh, my gosh, it's true. I was already feeling better, and now I'm feeling even better than that. Woohoo! I want to go play outside. Me too. Me too. And I'm excited to wear my favorite jacket. When I feel grumpy about the changing weather, then I go, what does love see? Love sees that I love wearing cozy, fuzzy things, and they're too hot to wear in the warmer weather. So that's something that I'm excited about. What do you think? Also, hot chocolate. I can have hot chocolate when it gets chilly. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Ooh, yeah. All right. Well, do you want to tell our friends anything about what we learned today? 
maybe help remind them what to do? Okay, well, I was very, very grumpy, and I think I was looking at Angus and other stuff with my grumpy glasses. Yeah, yeah, and, and so was I, and I was doing that same thing. Yeah, but then we took off our grumpy glasses. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then we put our hands on our heart. Uh-huh, and then we felt a love fill up, up from the toes, all the way up. Yeah, yeah, all the way up, all warm, until it filled up to our eyeballs. Yeah, our eyeballs. And then we look with love. Yeah, look with love. And love sees all the good stuff. Yeah, love. When we look with love, we see all the good stuff in each other and ourselves and everything. Yeah. And then we all feel better. That's right. That's perfect. Ugh. I am so proud of you. And I'm so proud of you. Ugh. We've all been doing some really great practicing, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I'll say. All right. You ready to go play? Want to say goodbye to our friends at home? Goodbye. Thank you for coming to play with us. We'll see you next time. Yay! Bye, Holly and Emma. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Teddy. Bye, guys. Bye, Holly Ava. Bye, all of our friends. Thanks for coming and practicing how to look with love. And I love you too. Okay, bye till next time. <laughs> bye. Oh, that was really fun. It's always so great to see them. I just love them. I love you. Have fun until next time. Really great job practicing. Mwah! See you soon. <laughs>